beautiful people today we are making this scrunchies or ruffled headband and these are the materials that we are going to need setting fabric or any fabric of your choice tape measure scissors matching thread and needle elastic band we have to get our safety pin our pins and then let's get started the measurement we are going to need is 40 inches length by 9 inches with 40 by 9 okay for the main fabric and the lining measurement is 15 by 3 15 by 3 and the elastic cover is 15 by 4 15 by 4 please we are going to what iron them and go to our machine to sew them so the main fabric we are going to sew half inch of it okay we are going to only sew half inch of it please we are done sewing our main fabric for the raffled headband now we have to get our turning two so if you don't have any of it get something to turn your fabric so this is how i do mine after turning the fabric you divide them like this okay and iron the middle parts of it yes do it this way and iron it nicely now we are going to insert that lining that is 15 by the three to insert the main fabric i want you to understand that i'm still taking the measurement as i am doing even though i've already given the measurements already so we are going to what do our raffle yes so we secure both end by our pins now this is the elastic cover case okay that is 15 inches by four we are going to also sew half inch of it so we are done sewing the half inch we are going to turn it as well into its right side and then iron and insect iron and now we are going to insert our elastic that is one inch elastic okay and the measurement of the elastic is seven inches length so please take note of that we will need our safety pin to do that so kindly watch how to insert your elastic into the elastic case you have to get a pin to secure the end and then this is the final stage of finishing of our work to attach your elastic to the main raffle you are going to add the right side by right side then you fold the main fabric to the other side and bring the other side of it then you go and sew half inch of it as i've used the tailor's chalk to mark it or a pen to mark it for you to see you do that for the other end too, and you send it to your machine to sew this is the final or this how it's supposed to look like when you are done sewing so you check if everything is secure then you what we then take our scissors to cut that half inch that we sew okay we want our work to be nice and neat so look at it we are going to sew we are going to cut this half inch that we used to sew so that place will not be bulky okay we always want a neat work for our clients yes so please this is the final look of our today's project work what do you think about it was this video helpful did you understand as i always say you let me know if my teaching method is complicated thank you subscribe